and have already advanced to the Sweet 16. So we'll see who advances here. Our next game this afternoon, Louisville and UCLA, the top seed in the West. Cliff Reed missed his last two free throws, last three now, but he has been a clutch player at the free throw line coming into the tournament. He was 14 of 18 against the Big West tournament and then six of nine against DePaul. So he has improved. He's only a, he's 88% from the line. So last three misses was unusual for him. Finally got the second. And it is a two point Aggie lead. La Boudreau. Great eye contact by Michael Allen and Carol Boudreau. Boudreau just snuck behind that zone, and that's where that spread out offense makes the defense come out after you, and Boudreau just snuck in on the baseline. First tie of the ball game, 12 apiece. Just under 13 minutes to play first half. Reed had three people on him, didn't get it. Trailer couldn't either, and Boudreau swings the elbows around to clear the group out. Nice hands, Brad. Way well, to get that ball. I had a hand on it and lost it. <laughs> well, I'm not going to ask you for assist. No kidding. But here's a great play by Michael Allen. You see the zone way high, and Boudreaux's all by himself on that baseline. I should have had that. I had my pen <laughs> in my left hand, and that's what oh, messed no things excuses. up. No excuses. No excuses. <laughs> Twelve and a half minutes to go first half. Early, the Raging Cajuns had a six-point lead. But they throw it away. The turnovers have been the story. Crawford. And lost out of bounds. The word Todd we Hill. have, I'm excuse sorry. me, Annie, the word we have from the bench for the Raging Cajuns is that Marcus Stokes is all right and he will be back. Just talking about that last play by Todd Hill. He makes a lot of his own mistakes, Brad, because he likes to jump on, up in the air when he passes the ball. And once you've done that, you've committed yourself and you've got nowhere to go, and he just threw that ball out, and Sam Crawford was able to pick it off. And Tony Moore checks in. Todd Hill goes out. Moore, another guy that can fill it up from three-point land. Tied at 12, with just over 12 to go first half of this first game, second round, West Regional, Tempe, Arizona. New Mexico State's Aggies and the Raging Cajuns of southwestern Louisiana. Raging Cajuns mixing up their defense. Playing oh, box and one working right one now. Three, that's right. One three with a chaser. Leak in the lane. Can't get it. Got it back. Second time goes for him. Now from Leak, his first basket. 14-12, Aggies. Turnovers have been the big story. Seven turnovers and 14 points turned into points off those turnovers. Allen way outside. We told you he could hit the three. That's his 58-3 of the year, and it gives Southwestern Louisiana a one-point lead. The biggest thing for Southwestern Louisiana is keep the ball out of the hands of Sam Crawford. See how well he uses the picks to get open. Off the glass. He called that one, didn't he? Neil McCarthy's wife likes it. And so does the coach. I didn't hear the I didn't hear the glass <laughs> fall on that one, though. Well, what the Raging Cajuns are doing on defense, Brad, is you're making the other players beat them and not getting the ball in Sam Crawford's hands. Allen got it to Starks. And Starks has six. away by Starks on the other end. 10.35 to go first half. We've got a good one going. It's the Raging Cajuns by one. Little guy Sam Crawford's done his job already with five points early. The Raging Cajuns shooting better from the field, but the points off turnovers go to New Mexico State as Southwestern Louisiana's turned it over seven times. And the Aggies have turned it into 11 points. Well, the Raging Cajuns are doing something on defense that the other teams have not. They've kept the ball out of Sam Crawford's hands, and when he has had it, they cover the other guys. They let Crawford try and beat them in taking the shot. On the other hand, when the ball is out of his hands, they let the other guys try and beat them. And turnover. Coleman walks with it. Marcus Stokes, that bad wrist is taped, but he's back in. 
And Boudreaux will get a rest. He's got two personal fouls, and they don't want him to pick up a cheap third if at all possible. Cliff Reed will come back in for the Aggies. And Ron Coleman will go down. At least Marcus Stokes doesn't have to shoot with the left hand. That's right. But we'll see whether he can control the ball or not. What kind of grip he gets on it. Allen at the point. If you're good, you just block the paint out. You know it. You've got to do that at this stage if you want to make this week 16. Allen missed outside. Trailer cleared it off. And here comes Mark Thompson. Cliff Reed, baseline, oh, oh, oh. short. Battle still not over on the boards. Who's going to come up with it? Finally cleared out of there by Mackey on and then stolen by Thompson. Boy, he won't give up. Finally got it. Mark Thompson said, I promised myself I was going to score this trip down the court. And he did. Great, Aggies by one. Great hustle by Thompson. You can never overlook this Aggie team as far as their defense, where they are on the floor. Tony Moore got it from 17. And there's Cynthia Fletcher looking on with baby daughter Allison as dad's doing his work on the sideline. 19-18, USL in front. And Mouton and Hill will come back in. Allen goes out. So the Aggies of New Mexico State have Cedric Mackey on and Eric Mouton joining Todd Hill, Marcus Stokes, and Byron Starks, who's their leading scorer so far. It's important for the Raging Cajuns to really kind of take over right now with Sam Crawford out of the game. On the other hand, the Aggies really need to stay with the Raging Cajuns because Crawford creates so many things. Crawford on the bench. Benjamin and Thompson playing in the backcourt. Reed, Hickman, and Trailer, the other three for the Aggies. And the double teams on Hill down low. Good nice catch. speed inside. Stokes got it on the dish from Starks. Southwestern Louisiana really has been moving the ball well on their offense. In the half-court game, trailer, nice wheel on the baseline, didn't get it. Byron Starks another rebound. Eric Trailer really struggling from the floor, not getting the ball really where he wants to. You have to contribute that to the defense. Boy, Byron Starks is really going to the offense so far today. Missed that shot. Trailer clears it ahead to Mark Thompson on the run. Three on two. Does it himself and finally dishes to Benjamin. Mark Thompson, nice feed to Benjamin, who's got five. And the lead cut back to one at the eight-minute mark, remaining first half. All alone underneath is Stokes. And it is up and down the court in a hurry now. That one's a little too far out in front of Thompson, as Benjamin threw it away. Seven minutes, 57 seconds to go first half. USL by three. Ohio State, the top seed, and North Carolina have already advanced in the southeast region. They'll go on to Lexington. Randy Ayers and Dean Smith squaring off in that one. That should be a dandy. The Big Ten and the ACC. It's going to be a tough one. Jimmy Jackson has been playing well, and Randy Ayers has done a super job. Can't go nothing wrong with Dean Smith, but I'm going to go with Ohio State in there. Oklahoma State's already won today over Tulane, so they'll go on to meet the winner of Michigan and East Tennessee State. There's that Oklahoma State Cowboys score. Perry Clark, Cinderella season for the Green Wave ends, and Eddie Sutton still got his crew in the hunt in the Sweet 16. Nice One of these teams will go to Albuquerque, and I don't think we're going to know until the very end the way things are going, as it's 23-22 with seven and a half minutes to go first half. Eric Trailer's first basket after missing his first four. That was a great pass by William Benjamin. Michael Allen loads it outside. He's got another one. His second three of the day. It's going to be one cut key guy for New Mexico State to really keep an eye on and not let him keep hitting from the outside and get into a groove. Sam Crawford, the little guy, back in to run the show for the Aggies. Trailer back-to-back -back shots now. Four for Trailer. 26-24. People forget that Eric Trailer is a left-hander, and sometimes it's hard to guard one of those guys because you're so used to guarding somebody right-handed. Tony Moore works for a 15-footer. Trailer battling with Macchion for the rebound, and Cedric Macchion won that. Mexico State switching into the man-to-man -man defense out of that timeout. They don't match up well against Southwestern Louisiana, but they feel that they need to make a change. 
Moore backs out. Guarded by Benjamin. Allen got a pick, and he buried another one. When you feel it, it's tough to stop. 29-24. Sam Crawford tried to answer with a three of his own, and Marcus Stokes with a rebound. Crawford can't get into a shooting match with Michael Allen. He needs to set up his teammates like he talked about the DePaul game. He had the game come to him. He set everybody up, but Southwestern Louisiana is doing a fine job defensively to, to kind of counteract that. Malcolm Leak takes off the miss from Todd Hill. The pass ahead to Reed. That's what Sam Crawford has to do. New Mexico State had four quick turnovers when Sam Crawford was on the bench. Now that he's back out there, that hasn't happened. 29-26, Ragin' Cajun. Michael Allen's been hot, but he's short on that one. Crawford forced Michael Allen to go inside that time and use his dribble. Great pass to Trailer. He had it blocked inside by Mackeon. And here comes Tony Moore the other way. The follow by Mackeon, who started that break. Trailer. That one rattled out. And Michael Allen the rebound. Southwestern Louisiana defensively, Brad, they're sagging off, making New Mexico State beat them from the outside, and their big guys are taking outside shots. Tony Moore works to the free throw line. Boy, everything's going in right now. That's a seven-point lead now. And maybe more. Southwest Louisiana really controlling the tempo right now. They've taken Sam Crawford out of the game. They've got their biggest lead and the ball. And we've got a foul inside. And a little talking going on. Well, Malcolm, Malcolm Leak and uh, Cliff, Reed, Cliff Reed talking a little bit. But those are the two guys that kind of, this year, because of all the junior college transfers, they were saying a lot of these guys really like to talk a good game. Byron Starks checks back in. Tony Moore will sit down. Chris Hickman's come back in for the Aggies. So out there right now, along with the free throw shooter Cliff Reed, is Sam Crawford, Eric Trailer, William Benjamin, and Chris Hickman. That's a starting five for Neil McCarthy's Aggies. Well, the free throws have been killing Reed since he hit his first two. Three is seven. Back he... come the Raging Cajuns. The lob underneath. Perfectly done. Hill to Starks. Cliff Reed got one to go inside. He's got seven. The kind of shots that New Mexico State is getting, they're a little bit further away from the basket because they're not letting Crawford penetrate as deep. Well, that was a nice follow, too, but a foul before the shot will go on. Cliff Reed, that'll be his second. We talked about Byron Starks and Marcus Stokes being the two guys that will guide the Ragin' Cajuns, and have they ever already. Starks is four for five from the field, and Stokes also has eight points. Well, you call him Mr. Inside and Outside, but Starks definitely can go inside, too. Mark Thompson comes back in, and William Benjamin sits down. Says to Coach McCarthy, why am I over here? <laughs> Malcolm Leak also coming back in, and Eric Trailer gets a rest. At the free throw line, the only Boudreaux left in the NCAA tournament after Brother Harold and LSU lost in Boise last night. Carol Boudreaux, 6'8", junior, out of Cecilia, Louisiana, about a half hour from the Lafayette campus of southwestern Louisiana. He missed them both. So a chance for the Aggies to cut it to five. Crawford left it for Reed, who's double-teamed and had it blocked by Starks. You know what Southwestern Louisiana is doing defensively? They're staying on the ground when Crawford jumps up in the air and penetrates, and he's got nowhere to dish it. Speaking of dishes, how about this one? That's setting the table. Starks with eight. The lead 